Hey everyone, Techni here with a review on the Fnatic Mini Streak TKL Gaming Keyboard. Now inside your box, by the way, very fantastic packaging. As you can see, very solid cardboard right here. Really nice packaging. But anyways, inside your box, you're going to get your keyboard. You're going to get some stickers, a mighty chunky manual here, but it's only a few pages in your language, just many, many different languages to choose from right there. Your detachable USB-C cable, and then your wrist rest. Now you can get the Fnatic Mini Street Keyboard in a variety of Cherry MX switches from your reds, your browns, your blues, your silent reds. We have the silent reds right here, and we will do that sound test later on, but across any switch right there, it is a hundred bucks. Now as far as connecting the Mini Street Keyboard right here, you do have your detachable USB-C cable, and as you can see right there, you have that little notch in there, and then your wire routes out here to the left. I think it would have been pretty cool if they put it in the center right there and they had the option to route it left or right right there. I mean, it doesn't really bother me because I prefer my wires going to the left, but it would have been nice to have that option. Now also, while we're looking at the bottom of the board here, as you can see, you have four big rubber feet right here and two pop-out feet. One level and then the pop-out feet also have a rubber foot on as well. So no matter which level you have it on or anything, this keyboard does not budge on you one bit. Now one last thing on the underside of the keyboard here, as you see those couple notches right there, that's where your wrist rest is going and attaching. It has some very nice tight clips. Bam, it goes right in there and it is in there very, very sturdy. Now, a couple cool touches about this wrist rest right here. Number one, it's made out of PU leather, kind of what you'd expect uh, your gaming chairs to be made out of, right? It has that same feel, very durable, nice and mushy right there. Again, it just feels fantastic. But the coolest thing about it, again, as you saw those notches right there, you can adjust it to the three levels, right up against the keyboard or pull it out. With me, with my medium to large hands, I had to keep it on the furthest one out there and it felt fantastic. But again, if you got those smaller hands or you like it to be a little closer, Bam, just pull it right on in. This is one of a kind and the first time I've seen this and I think it's incredibly awesome. Now, as far as the design of the Fnatic Mini Streak right here, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's minimalistic and it's just crisp. Nice rounded edges going around the entire board right there. You have a metal base underneath your keycaps. It does have a light weight to it and I think that's uh, coming from the uh, plastic bottom right there. It's pretty light, so that's gonna be great if you're traveling or anything. But again, with that light weight, again, talking about the feet on the bottom, or anything, this thing never budges on you. Also on the back side of the keyboard right, you can see I have this little Fnatic little tag right here. You can actually pop that off and you just have it open as RGB. I'm not sure if they're gonna make customizable ones of these, but it's on the back side of the keyboard, so honestly, who really cares? But now keeping on the topic of design right here, again, me talking how great it looks and it looks fantastic. The one downside about this keyboard to me is that metal plate on the top right there. I'm not too sure how well the camera picks it up. You can probably see it gray going against the keycap being black, and then underneath it right there, it has that grayish gunmetal look, you know what I mean? And it just, I don't know, it just throws off my vibe. I wish it was a spitting black right there, or some other color, maybe white or something. I don't I don't care, you know what I mean? But I wish it was just solid black, because that little gunmetal color right there kind of throws off my vibe a little bit. But hey, that's probably just personal preference and me being nitpicky. Now, as far as the functions and the shortcuts on a Fnatic Mini Street right here, they're very easy to understand and very easy to use. As you see, start right up here on the keyboard, you have that function lock to lock your function layer over here, you have your RGB adjustment, and then your volume adjustment, along with your media controls right here drop right down over here and you have a mic mute and then your volume mute and right in the middle you have competition mode now as far as that competition mode kind of think about it just as your windows lock key even though it does more on this board than some other ones as far as a basic windows lock key it's going to disable the windows key your macro bindings and then adjust the lighting all right so let's get into the keys and the sound test and everything here number one that you've probably spotted already is that font but i honestly love this font again with that really big bold vibrant font letting that rgb come on through but now talking about these keycaps they are just basic sprayed abs keycaps and they are quite chintzy but you can replacement set of keycaps are pretty cheap i did a recent review on multiple different brands of keycaps go on and check that one out as well you can get a set for probably around you know 20 to 30 bucks all right so let's get into the switches here again i'm using cherry mx red silence and this is my first time ever using red silence right here and let me tell you what I fell in love with them, but they did take me some time to get used to, right? You press them down and they feel very soft, right? Because you got that little rubber coating on the bottom and then when they come up, you got that little rubber right there as well. So it took some time to get used to because you got a shorter press right there. Number one, it's quieter, right? And it's softer. So yes, it did take me probably about a solid week to get used to, but after a while, it's just like, wow, I need more keyboards with these silent reds. Let me let you listen to them and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about.
All right, so what did you think about that sound test right there? I love it. Again, as far as talking to switches, I don't want to talk too much about the silent reds right here. That'll be for a different video down the road. But again, as far as the switches on the board right here, it was just a fantastic and very nice combination to use. All right, so my final thoughts on the Fnatic Mini Streak right here. Now, real quick, this does come in a full size variation as well. And the only difference is it has a volume wheel right over here, which is pretty stinking cool. I like it. I really do like it. The two things I don't like like, number one, the biggest thing is probably the undercoating right here being gunmetal. But again, I gotta mark that off as complete personal preference right there. I wish it was solid black under there. And number two, as I stated, is the cheap sprayed ABS keycaps right here. Many keyboards use it, especially from the bigger companies, right? But like I stated before, go check out that video. You can get a keycap set for really cheap and just slop them on here and you'll be good to go. But at 100 bucks, I think we have a really great board here. Very nice, vibrant RGB. 100 bucks for any switch right there. Some really cool functions on it. Again, when you get into that $100 price range on keyboards, whether you're looking at a TKL full size or 60%, you know what I mean? That $100 price range is quite flooding. You have a lot of options to choose from. But yes, I do like this one. And me personally, if you're looking at a 60%, I prefer 10 kilos over 60% all day long. But where you gotta class these keyboard right here is do you like the functions and the features on it with these shortcuts, right? Because again, at 100 bucks, you have many options. And that's where I put this one right here. Do you need these other functions or do you like these other functions right here? Because then it'll suit you perfect. But hey, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Fnatic Mini Streak right here. Are you looking at picking it up or do you use it and what you think about it? I have reviewed some other Fnatic products in the past. We reviewed the Fnatic headset. I'll leave that one right popping up here. And then we're also going to be reviewing some Fnatic mice coming up shortly. And just spoiler alert, they're pretty stinking nice. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.